Uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, so the last time we left off, I still had the steering uh, components to take off. I had one ball joint where the uh, center link connected to the pitman arm and that just did not want to come out. It was stuck in there. I tried everything, the pickle fork, just whacking it with a hammer and then heating the uh, uh, pitman arm and and just didn't work. So I finally said, I'm just gonna go crazy and got the cutoff wheel and cut the uh, stud out. So now next step is to go on the pitman arm end. Probably you can see here, the thing is stuck in there. I got a, um, with a C-clamp and a uh, socket underneath. I'm just gonna take that out. And then after that, I'll start assembling all the new parts I have here from Pro Touring F-Body. I got the inner, outer tie rod ends in the center link and the new, uh, and the new arm that goes on the frame on the passenger side, whatever that's called, idler arm. So finally we got that last piece that was holding me back out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it out the same way it is here so I can get it close and then do um, a home alignment system. And then I got to bleed the brakes. I did gravity bleed the rears uh, and it looked like uh, fluid was starting to come out. So the last time I said I had, I was gonna do uh, bench bleeding because the thing was dry, but actually it was not. There was some fluid still in it Nothing was exposed, so I don't need to do any bench bleeding. I just filled it out with some fluid to top it off and then opened up the rears and within a minute, fluid starting to, started to come out. So we're just gonna do uh, two man bleeding after I get the steering components in and hopefully that should be it and we can drive it. So right now I'm just gonna take out that last bolt that's stuck in the pitman arm and then uh, start the assembly. So I tried to get the stud out and the C-clamp I had broken half trying to squeeze it out. So a friend of mine came by. Uh, he was in one of my previous video videos. Um, and he brought a real good C-clamp, an eight inch C-clamp. And then we heated it up uh, the pitman arm and with the good seat clamp and the uh, heat the thing came out i had cut it in half but he was able to uh, squeeze it out with heat and force so now that the pitman arm is out i'm going to go back and start assembling the steering components and then bring it in and install it here so let's go do that so i'm just going to start assembling Some of those pieces came with the Zerk fitting, some of them didn't, so we're just gonna put the ones that didn't come in. Okay. These have eight millimeter heads. Same with the center link. Then come with the uh, Zerk fittings. So we're just gonna put these on. One on 
this side. So it's ready. Now we'll just assemble these things. This one is reverse thread, so it throws you off a little bit. They're all, the inner and outer are reverse thread, so you can adjust them. So we're, right now I'm just gonna put it in and Same with this. Okay. Okay, and then this one goes. I have to put the nut first. Okay, and this one goes in here. So we're just going to loosely assemble for now, and then we'll compare them afterwards. So this goes same.
Okay, so they're loosely assembled for now. Um, what I'm going to do is bring it So let's look at it. And I have them roughly lined up where the idler arm connects and the inner connects to the center link. So I'm off right now here. So I'm gonna move the inner tie rod and outer tie rod in a little bit on the passenger side and looks like it's almost there on the uh, driver side might need to go in just a touch but i'm gonna right now tighten the castle nuts put the pins in and then on the car i'll move it in and out if need be and then um, we'll go from there all these are, you can see the grease coming out, meaning they're all good. So, and that's the last one I greased. So, this is all set up. The ends are, uh, the uh, adjusters are loosely there for now, just so I can make it match. But they're, right now, the eyeball measure says they're right on. So right now we're just gonna go in the car um, underneath and start installing. I've already centered the steering wheel. So when everything is there, it'll be centered. When I had it before, it was off by like a, a few degrees. When I was going straight down the road, it always drove me crazy. So hopefully I'll be able to at least fix that one too. So, we, so we got the steering components and I ended up having to put the idler arm first and the way the F body frame is set up you have to go the lower bolt on the idler arm first then the upper bolt because the lower bolt the hole in the frame is smaller so you want to get that started first and get the uh, upper one that has much more room in the frame and then I loosely fit everything in there and once I got everything um, fitted, the wheels are straight ahead and I fit the uh, ball joints at the end on the tie rod end into the uh, spindler on both sides, tighten them, put the castle knot. So I got to go down to the parts store uh, now and get some alignment shims, come back and align the wheels a little bit. So right now, The front wheel is top is leaning out a little bit, so there's not much room. Uh, it's almost rubbing the fender. I have to work through that to figure out what's going on. So for now, I'm just gonna go to the parts store and come back and continue. 